Hello everyone and welcome to the Yuki Aim Tournament Grand Finals. We are here with the final matchup of the tournament. It's Vaxe versus Emrek, the repeat of winners finals that everybody is excited for. My name is Dio. I'm gonna be casting this match alongside Etienne. He's been here throughout this whole tournament. Let him know how you're doing, Etienne. Oh, I'm doing great, but I hope people are doing greater. It's always good to be around for a grand finals match again, and especially watching these two players. And I've already seen uh, one of these players, which is obviously Emrek perform in a grand final setting. Uh, is coming from losers this time, so obviously gonna have his work cut out for him. Uh, definitely, I know he's been having some sleeping shenanigan issues lately and a bit of lag issues when he was trying to stream, but hopefully everything is put in place. You know, definitely wants to get his name out there yet again in the tournament scene. And, um, you know, with Vaxxing in the winner's bracket, it's going to be a hell of a mountain to climb. Easily one of the most versatile Nomad 3s we've seen, if not the most versatile in terms of just patterning, aggressiveness. Um, it just really comes out on all fronts here. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of different types of patterns in this. We see Emrek missing a little early on on some of the more cut stream focused patterning. A lot of the changes in cursor velocity required for this map are really tough to deal with. You see so many small changes in spacing all throughout different stream patterns in this map, and it makes it so difficult to continuously hold on to the correct cursor velocity, be able to properly aim a lot of this map. Vaxa being known for his preparation in every facet, and I mean, who who opens? It is not often players open up with a double S, really ever. It's just, it's just a tournament thing, I think, or just I don't know. It's just a very difficult thing to do in Osu in general, just starting out from the get go with a double S. But is actually going to catch not only the first hundred, but a large. Whoa, hold on there. Can we talk about that deal? What just happened? Well, what happened is the map is OD8, and so he missed one note, and then Note Lock got him right afterwards, is what yeah. happened on that pattern. Uh, because when the map up is there OD8, too. it's so easy to just Note Lock on a whole pattern afterwards, being able to actually get back onto the pattern as they come at you is a really, really difficult task in this map. and. Uh, Emrek having a little bit of a better time on it, so despite that early SS for Vaxe, it's Emrek now, combo lead, act lead, and soon the score lead as well. Yeah, what an abrupt shift in combo there, and I mean, even though I was just about to say the verses don't let up in this map either. There are virtually no breaks in this. It is completely balls to the wall, and uh, yeah, Emrek easing into this now, just getting his groove on, and just really getting the map down. I mean, obviously, you know, in a way, he kind of has an advantage here, has played this map in a tournament setting before, so, uh, you know, I think he knows what he needs to do and how to specifically play this map. And, uh, oh wow, players nailing that space stream there, going into the second chorus. 40k lead for Emrek about, or 35. And this is another break now for Vaxe, actually, on the first pick. Not going as planned. Emrek now almost cresting 800 combo with this play as we come into what's soon to be that finger control section, those 1-6 bursts near the end of the map. And I was going to talk about this a little bit, but if you are looking at you know, a couple of picks, we talked about tech for Vaxe. Alt for Emrek is actually something that he had a generally better time on in the winner's finals against Vaxe. Had a fantastic score on something good, the uh, Hard Rock alt map from last weekend, and is oh definitely showing off the skills the here as well. Finally oh. drops the combo, the but that lead, solo. that lead is more than enough. That four-digit combo just solidifying it and Vaxi catching another string of misses on that space stream there right before the map kind of simmers down a bit before it picks right back up during this course. It gives you quite literally a second or two to get your bearings back, but um, it's Emrek who got their bearings straight at the right time and, and was just able to capitalize off of it. And we're going to see not only the first point from Emrek, but the first break point too. That was, that was great. 
That's a really solid way to start it off for Emrek, man. You, you have to love the confidence boost that you get after taking a first pick breakpoint off of the GOAT, off of the player who has that winner's bracket advantage as well. And no hesitation for Emrek either, just goes right into double time one, right after pulling off a 1k combo play on oh, Nomad this... 3. Easily one of the best plays that we're going to see this weekend. And I now back on the so monster. I am so excited for this one. I am so excited for this one. Now we're, now we're at the point where we're seeing this in tournament play. Yeah, this map has just gotten... It's not gotten any easier over the years. The general player base has just gotten so much better at double time and double time aim specifically that uh, it somehow finds its way into tournaments, like you said. Uh, but this is this is absolutely a solid pick for Emrek. Uh, he was able to get 98% accuracy, only 500 max combo on this, but comboed through the first half, half of the map and had 630k by the end of it. Does miss on the first QI time this time around, though, so is going to need to hold on to the combo for a significant period of time going into the second half of the map. Vaxxay with about a 210 combo lead going into that second half. Both players hitting the burst, both on relatively good accuracy, but Vaxxay above 99%, no misses so far for him either. Yeah, and these patterns are so repetitive that if you're one of those players that just has them down, listen, you got them down. You're hitting those 9 out of 10 times if you are a DT aficionado. Like Vaxia's, Emrek did hit them as well. You know, both players more than capable at this BPM too. And um, yeah, they're just, I guess the word is catchy. I know that's like, uh, you know, you would describe a song that, but these patterns are quite infectious, I would say. They just, <laughs> they look so enjoyable to see being hit and probably pretty damn fun to hit too. But um, damn, we got a 20k lead coming up for Vaxia's side here. Yeah, he's almost on that 200k lead, like you said. He's got still the 210 combo lead from the beginning, and that's doing all of the work for him right now. Does have the act advantage as well, but it pales in comparison to what the combo lead does for the score for Vaxe right now. And he's looking to full combo this map, Etienne. And we're hitting the uh. ending jumps as well right now. Both of them <laughs> hit the horizontal cross screen at the end of the map as well. Oh, oh and that basically God. just seals it up for Vaxe. Uh, that should basically be the FC if he hits the ending here. The rest of it, he's going to pull off the FC in that. No. I, oh. I actually can't oh. believe it. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's hilarious. I was, I, was, I was like, I'm okay. just going to let you talk. Cause ev I think I'm like six for seven like on commentator cursing. And you're like two for two or something. Like three <laughs> for three or some, some bold, you know. You oh, know, yeah. Not, and uh, the lengthy streams on top. I mean, this map's wacky. This is like a, um, what's it called? Like a wild card, I guess, type pick. This is just whatever the pool. This is just whatever went with really wacky aim in this pool. And uh, this type of uh, stream aim is just... Uh, a little bit crazy. You've got these types of streams near the start and middle and end of the map, and then you've got the uh, super high spacing wiggles that what the, really makes this map what? as crazy as it is. And uh, yeah, both of these players are number one and number two on the map, respectively, by the way. If you didn't oh, know, Etienne. Yeah. I did not know that, actually. <laughs> we do see some early breaks, though, from both Vaxe and Emrek breaking on the patterns after that intro section. Slight accuracy lead, slight combo lead for Vaxe due to the timing of the misses. I was gonna say they're like ice skaters, like they're so in sync that <laughs> they missed at virtually like just about the same time they comboed both of the cores or the intros. I this this should be interesting with that precedent set and with that in mind. And I bet they're more than aware of this, which makes this this makes this a pretty crazy pick then. I feel like I might have known. I, I swore I looked at the leaderboards of this map like a, a, few, a couple months ago, but and look at that! <laughs> they both miss at the exact same time again. It's just Vaxi with the slightly better act that's going to carry him a bit going into this next section. Yeah, I mean, not surprising that they miss on the giant wiggle streams, right? Like, that's kind of the, the okay, we probably both miss here pattern, and if you actually <laughs> hit it, you're just god mode at that point. Ooh, hold on uh, a minute. 
we do see. Yeah, you said it. Vexay finding a miss on these stream patterns. Emrek, though, both breaking now. And the combo reset, honestly favoring Emrek ever so slightly. But there goes Emrek once again, dropping more misses on these stream patterns. And Vaxay now up almost 30k because the score actually drops on score v2 for Emrek. When you do drop that accuracy, the score goes down accordingly. I'm I'm terrified for the last section for the last stream section. I I'm not I'm not ready for it. All right, last couple sets of wiggles here. Both of them oh actually hit that set of wiggles. All right, sure. They both miss on the first set. They both miss on the second set. What do you call it, Etienne? Uh, ice skaters, almost synchronized swimming yeah, for these so two. Yeah, they're so synchronized. <laughs> synchronized they're, they're, comboing they're, they're for doing these two figure players. They're doing uh, the Iron Lotus. They're, they are more in sync than ever. This is actually super close between these two, by the way. If either player misses, it's basically decided. There goes Vaxley's oh, combo. Emrek now holding on to his combo over 300, cresting 400 now. And this is actually it's, probably going to be enough to take it back. He just needs to hold ever so slightly longer. Misses on the high spacing triples, oh though. And now it's all on the last stream section for both of these players. Here. If Vaxxit catches a major break here, this could be Emrex to take. And it is going to be Emrex to take. I don't think there's going to be enough time, especially with Emrex building this combo up. Anything can happen, though. There's oh, the chain miss that comes out. It's so gonna easy to drop score. that extra combo and score. Oh, is it going to be enough at the end of the map? Vaxxit holding on. Emrex holding at the very end. It's just the very end of the map. Accuracy at the end, slightly in the favor of Vaxxit. And it's, it's uh, as close as it gets between the two. The score just flickering oh back God. and forth forever. 2-1 to Vaxe, though, by the end of it. As an Italian, that was the most damn spaghetti I've ever seen at the end of a map before. Holy moly. <laughs> Going into DT4, the short map. This is kind of, this is a shmoney pick. You know, this could pay off pretty well, given how short it is. You know, if you're, in, you know, if you're down for that. And especially it's a techie map. Not opposed to this pick at all either, but... I saw somebody in chat say it. This map is a demon pick. This is just AR 9.5 plus DT, AR 10.7, alt slider aim in this map. Less than a minute long with double time applied. Uh, this is just ridiculous to combo through correctly. Both Emrek and Vaxxay, those super good high approach rate players. No trouble clearly on the reading for either of them. Both of them holding on to really solid accuracy. Slight act lead for Vaxxay going into the second half of the map. And we are already past that halfway point at the end. There's the first yeah, combo break to come up just, from Vaxxay. I was just about to say it doesn't matter because the lead can just shift that fast. And wait a minute. Is this going to be the fourth break point in a row? It might it might. No, this is Emrek's pick. This is Emrek's oh, pick. it is Emrek's pick. Okay, I miscounted. I was like throwing myself in a whirl for a second. I was getting, wait, hold on a second. Is he gonna FC? He I is not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so close, that's him. Why? You had, you had to there call was, it out. There wasn't even like half a second left. You had to call it out at the end. You had to call it out. It's just, we, we'll see. We'll see about that. There's definitely some maps where I think MREC does very, very well. For example, uh, stuff like Hard Rock 4, which Vaxe banned out, right? Stuff like Hard Rock 1 or Nomad 1, I also think are uh, good picks for MREC in this matchup in general, or at least okay picks for MREC in this matchup. Uh, the reason I think this is a good pick for Vaxe is that he is, in general, a better hidden player. You remember in YSC Grand Finals, MREC banning out hidden, banning out reading maps uh, against Mathy, and Mathy That's banning fair. out the speed maps against MREC, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, but generally speaking, Emrek not super solid compared to a lot of the other well-rounded, super high-caliber tournament players at this level, like Vaxe. And you know, Vaxe, well known for putting up just incredible scores on super high BPM, super hard tech maps all throughout the game in solo play. So no surprises that this map gets picked up for him, and he's off to a pretty fantastic start. 98% on the full combo. Yeah, I think ever since Vaxe's introduction to tournaments, he just grew, like, I guess he just became very enamored with tech-oriented maps. Because I remember he just kind of avoided this type of stuff for the longest time. And then, you know, come early 2017, late 2016 was when we just saw a complete and utter flourishment of that skill set. And now it's become, you know, like the best in the business, honestly. And even on the more lengthy ones, you know, we've seen time and time again, you know, super lengthy tech maps, you know, ranging like 2,000 to 2,500 notes. Uh, and, and usually within the Camellia Sphere, just so dominant on these. 
Yeah, well, we've been talking about this, by the way. We have had a couple combo breaks for both players. Vaxane not on the full combo any longer. Has had a few misses here and there, but less frequent than Emrek. Uh, Emrek right now on the combo advantage does have a 2% act deficit to overcome with that combo lead, however. So it is going to be a little bit more difficult for Emrek to build up any type of score lead or even to eliminate the score advantage that Vaxe has right now over him. Uh, Vaxe is still up about 35k or so over Emrek despite the combo lead that Emrek has at the moment. And you know, Emrek definitely not bad at this map, by the way. Uh, I believe Emrek has a like 1300 combo no mod play or something like that. That's just a couple slider breaks near the end of the map. Oh, so. okay. I was not expecting both players to hit that section. I get I get scared every time that comes up. And uh, yeah, Emrek really building up some combo here. You know, if there's any any precedent to go off of during the first map of this tournament uh, or this match, it's really just that Emrek has the ability to adapt and just kind of shake off what was going on in the past and just, you know, whether, you know, just get, bring that aggression back that he's very familiar with uh, mentally and physically, but is going to catch a mister, unfortunately, balance the playing field out once again between the two players and 35k deficit ain't a lot, you know, for a map this long. Yeah, there's, there's definitely a score lead for Vaxe at the moment. It's not a huge one. It's like you said, that 35, 40k right now. Uh, but it's going to increase with the act lead that Vaxe has. Still has that 2% accuracy lead on Emrek, and that means that any combo that both of these players accumulate, it's just going to be that much more effective for Vaxe at building up the score. So there has to be a combo advantage for Emrek on this map if he wants to try and take the breakpoint. It is still relatively close. It's definitely possible here on the ending if Vaxe does find a break and Emrek is able to hold, but it's the opposite. Emrek finding that slider break going into the last quarter of the map and Vaxe still holding the combo from after the one third slowdown slider stream with Wiggles that both of them broke on earlier in the pick and uh, Whoa, Emrek just started breaking on nothing. Very it doesn't really matter. Interesting misses there. Yeah, very um, unorthodox misses coming there. Uh, nailing that stream, you know, shaking it off. And that's what I love to see from players. It's just getting right back on track, even though, you, you know, you, when you least expect it uh, with certain misses, you just have to get, you have to shake it off. You just have to pretend like it didn't happen. Because once you stay on autopilot and in that Zen mode, you know, that really separates a lot of tournament players from others. But uh, Vaxi is going to be maintaining this combo and it's not even going to matter, oh. especially hitting that stream, that accelerating stream section and... That stream's nasty, man. It's that stream nasty. is nasty. nasty. You hit that with hidden. That is just disgusting. No contest on this map, really. It was close going into the last about third of the map. But throughout the first half, Vaxi with the more consistent combo. 2% accuracy up on Emrek all throughout the pick. And that ending really just shows the level of comfort that Vaxe has on this sort of style of map. He is so good at these types of really tricky tech picks, especially with Hidden Applied. I think it just adds that extra layer of discomfort for Emrek that makes Vaxe uh, all the more favored on that type of map. So solid pick up three to two now. One of the first long maps that we've had in this pool as well. We've gone from an early alt pick from oh, Vaxe yes. in the loser bracket finals against Badu. He still had 440k. Uh, it's just that Badu sort of put on a clinic on that map. He's sort of known for being super good at precision Badu. That's also uh, true. <laughs> so, uh, you know, comparing either of these players to Badu on super high circle size precision <laughs> like this, I think is a little bit difficult. Uh, part of the reason also that this map, I think, is on Mrex's mind is because it is an alt pick in Hard Rock. Uh, it's not. It's kind of comparable to both Rap de Chocobo and to something good from last weekend, right? Oh, uh, that's a good point. The, I, for, I, I forgot about that. <laughs> and the skill set behind the circle size is different this week compared to last week. So even though Vaxe won Rap de Chocobo against Mrex last weekend, Mrex won something good. So I think I think this is. A contested pick between the two of them, and we do see an early miss come out from Vaxe on this pick. Emrek, uh, maybe a little bit well-versed in the patterning on this map. We'll have to see how that first PI time goes and take a look at how they handle these super high BPM jumps. Oh, Vaxe is going to be able to catch up pretty quickly, and Emrek really having trouble here. Um... Had a bit of a better start last time, accuracy-wise, I believe, and kind of combo-wise, but 
Whoa, even on those sliders, just catching a string of misses and just not able to get any sort of momentum back. And it's going to be Vaxate pulling away. Uh, looking kind of stupid on the on, on these on this map now. Looking pretty good. Uh, yeah, Vaxe is uh, looking very solid now. Reverse choke, you know, does find the early miss, but it really doesn't matter all that much because he is just doing super solid overall. Emrek just missing on random stuff now as well. I think a little bit disheartened after how that first key eye time went compared to the run he had against Badiou. This is definitely a far worse performance on this map. So yeah, you have to understand why he's a little bit disheartened after that first key eye time. We'll see if he can pull it back here in the second half. See, see how these Vaxi doubles go. Did miss in the beginning of the map. We'll see if it matters at all here. Oh my god. <laughs> Both players nailing those jumps again, but em oh, I was just about to say, Emmerich finally a glimmer of hope, but that glimmer of hope fading away very quickly, very short lived. And uh, it's going to be Vaxe just taking off here. Just, yeah, missing at the beginning and just, you know, did. Yeah, Emmerich just kind of having a bit of trouble. Kind of shaking it off, though. I don't know if it's uh, a coping thing or just, you know, just being like, I think these players are mature or mature tournament players enough to where it's like, you know, hey, had a bad map. It happens, you know, sometimes in melee, you know, you get four stocked and uh, you just move on. It's like, the you know, like the game never happened. This is uh, this is just sort of ridiculous from Vaxi. I, I mean, there's there's not a lot you can do against this unless you're Badu, I guess. And then it's yeah, even then it's close. <laughs> even then it's close, <laughs> man. The comma. This is just oh okay. Relax, this is just Vaxi. crazy. I think he's actually gonna beat Badu's score. Finally drops oh, the slider break no, there no. at the end of the map. Finally drops the combo right at the end. It's but, always that last pattern. He's just, under Bidu's, man. he's just under Bidu's score. Super, super solid score, though, from Vaxe. I mean, even if Emrek puts up a comparable score to what he had against Bidu, come on, man. What is that? Wait, does that count as your first casting curse? And, uh, you know, show your love before the before the chorus comes for your players. I know y'all are rooting for someone. And if you're not, you know, that's cool. That's cool. I am pressuring you, but... Biggest things to help everybody enjoy their stay. Keep it positive. Spam when it's appropriate during the say, choruses. I think, I think in this I called map. it too early. Yeah, you're <laughs> you got y'all a little early on this one. I gotta I got say, the, I got the people going too early. <laughs> I got them excited. The, the premature uh, copy pasta. Yeah, y'all y'all a little <laughs> slow at the moment on this one, but keep it positive about the players. Root for somebody, not against them. Spam when it's needed and spam when it's good it's, it's for the late. chat and let's late. get into it we've <laughs> already got some misses coming out from vaxe though that's just the nature of the beast on this pick so easy to find any small little miss aim and then just chain miss 20 notes right afterwards those low bpm hidden streams on super high spacing really really tough to be consistent on yeah and if there if there is anything to talk about this map it is that no lead is safe by any means especially in the first quarter this 50k lead don't even think about it as a 50k lead think of it as like 5k because by the time someone catches a note lock on the a winning side that other player could just catch up right just like that because the, the drops on this can be catastrophic as we saw last time yeah they really are just a little bit crazy on this map but uh, here we go into the first Ki time. Y'all know what to do for this one, and the players know what to do as well. Spacing yeah, Emrek, what, increases, the curvature right gets a little crazier in these Ki times. Emrek, though, seemingly no trouble on this one, and despite Vaxe with a really confident pick into this next map, Emrek is really showing up here. We get another oh. probably <laughs> couple of breakpoints in a row here as oh Emrek finally drops the combo over 1k oh by the time God. he does. That's a crazy run. He did play this up against Pindu, by the way, what? and he got 830 max combo already almost ahead of his previous this score. This hack is nutty. This is like some... Oh my God, what's that peanut company name? It already ruins the joke. I just kind of want to ask people now. I forget. Is it literally just Mr. Peanut? What's that peanut company name? What? Chat knows. Someone in, someone knows. But anyways, he's looking nutty. That's all I'm trying to say. Planners, thank you, someone. 
just, I really wanted to know that. I couldn't make the joke. It's Everyone's now just not shaken up yet. No, no, he's not at all. I mean, this is a really, really solid run from him. Finally oh, finds oh, 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 a minute. chain miss there. The We're going into the last quarter, though, Etienne. It's still a 140,000 score lead for Emmerich at this point. Oh, and there goes the combo for Vaxxi. Yeah. Bit of a slobber knocker to end this off, but I mean, oh my god, the first half was exhilarating to watch there. And yeah, the patterns get a little more convoluted, a bit more technical, a bit more alt heavy. And uh, yeah, those doubles there really switching the momentum of the song too. Tons of versatility that gets brought to the table in the last chorus here. And um, yeah, and it just doesn't let up too. The spacing gets more aggressive. The pattern gets different. There's even some slider shenanigans going on. And uh, but that's going to be a point for Emrek. We're four to three. This is a close one. We're still keeping it close, baby. We're keeping it close. And those scores are pretty close in terms of raw scoring mechanics too yeah yeah this is a <laughs> this is just a crazy stream map honestly there's sections in the beginning and end of this map that just go completely nuts in this pick anything from super wonky cut streams to wiggle streams to just super high spacing almost like the spacing we saw in hidden three almost that space not quite that high because the bpm is a little bit bigger in this one 185 bpm but that's the type of map that this is, just without mods. The middle section, uh, notoriously slow in this song, so you do get a little bit of an easy part in this map. We do see some early breaks, by the way, from Vaxay. These cut double streams near the start of this map, giving him a little trouble. Emrek resetting the combo right afterwards, but higher accuracy. So again, the every bit of score counts, every bit of accuracy counts, and it's going to favor Emrek a little bit going into the first hard section of the map. I'm not going to lie, I love the fact that this is one of the few times where a player is picking a pick, not just because, you know, it might just be something they're strong at, but they're piggybacking just off of straight momentum. Like, they won on something with a central theme, and, like, which was centered around flow aim and, you know, certain technical patterns like that, but I don't know, I love how Emmerich's just like, you know, round two, you know, it's my pick, I'm going to go for it, and I don't know, I just love seeing because you don't see that here and there you just kind of you kind of have a game plan from the very start and just go off of that and i'm liking this and emrick i mean it's paying dividends at the moment here his flow aim looks to be on point during this match i have to say you know vaxxay was able to come out on top on rubik's cube but it was a few thousand points away we all saw how close that was it was on a knife's edge throughout the entire ending Holy of the map. Moly. And between Hidden 3 and this pick, man, I'm sold. Emrek Flow Aim invests, man. Invest! Because Whoa, these stocks are paying financial. dividends right now, dude. Oh, we got to we we disclose for legal reasons. This is not, what, what's the saying? It's like, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, this is financial I advice. I am a financial advisor. Invest in Emrek Flow Aim. Do it. Well, we just lost our sponsors for next year. Which happened <laughs> to be Yuki Aim. And HyperX, go check them out. Homies supporting homies. They are responsible for the prize pool of this tournament. And HyperX giving out some good, good prizes. And if you want to know what some of those products can be, go check them out. And then go check out UPM too, because they're dope as hell. But uh, anyways, back to the match. We got a 200% score lead from Emrek. Well, we don't really have to go back to the match right now. This part's a little easy. It's a little bit free during this section, I have to say. And uh, that's very, very good for Emrek. Look at the combo he has right now. He's probably going to go well over 1K during this section because if I'm being honest, this middle section is not nearly as hard as the rest of this map. There's some cut streams here and there, but the spacing doesn't change nearly as often. It's not as extreme during the rest of the map. And while, yes, for most players, this would still be a relatively hard section of map, uh, for these two, not so much. You can see both of them no trouble at all recovering accuracy during this section, in fact. Yeah, now we got a 150k score lead. I mean, quite literally the per... Whoa, hold on a minute. That mm. kind of threw me in for a whirl. But, you know, thankfully it didn't happen at the beginning of the break section. That would have been tragic. And we've seen that happen before where players miss at quite literally the worst times, which is right before a break-oriented section. But... Uh, we'll see what happens, you know, Vaxxay could very well trade a miss fairly soon, but I mean, if there's anything Vaxxay is good at, it is definitely adapting. Both players just very adaptive players, and that's in the... Oh, okay, big finally. string misses, Ooh. but Vax Emmerich catching a break there, that could have been pretty scary. 
that could have been very scary if Vaxi did not break during that section because despite how good Emrek looked in the first half, he's been a little shaky here in the transition back into this higher spacing section. Both of them, no trouble during the space stream part of the map now, but the accuracy has evened up in the favor of Vaxay at this point even. And Emrek continues to drop these misses once every few hundred combo. That's not what you need going into oh, the ending here as now. It's less than a 50k surely. The chain miss is coming through. This. He's dropping so much score. The combo is there for Vaxay and that's just going to be it. Oh, There's Lord. nothing left. It is all for Vaxay's to take in this last section here. That isn't even meant to be FC'd. We, th no one chose this map thinking anyone was going to FC the ending here. And that's going to be it. It's going to swing right back in Vaxay's oh favor. God. It's going to be five to three. What happened in those five seconds? It just... I mean, I know it happened, but I'm like, I can't even process it. Well, 60 misses. 60 misses happened in that section. Uh, 60 misses and quite a lot of hundreds during that section. That is a really unfortunate ending section of the map for MREC, and that's really all there is to it. Score V2 is brutal when you find those chain misses, when you drop so much accuracy. He went... see the kind of awkward patterning that goes along with a song like this at the end talking about you know, the, the change in genre it's definitely reflected in the mapping here you get a lot of these really wide angled jumps all over the place in this map polygonal patterns to boot lots of overlaps patterns that double back on themselves as well neither player having a lot of trouble with it right now both of them still on the full combo we do see a slider break from Vaxe actually going into the second quarter of the map, Emrek still on that full combo, 98% accuracy. Pretty close for both of the players at the moment. Yeah, and you got you got some of those uh, those brief slider into <laughs> those brief slider jump transitions that can definitely trick players up. One of those tripping Vaxe up actually, they just sneak up on you. They're so misleading difficulty wise. You know, it just doesn't look like much, but it's such a, a confusing transition to kind of, you know, you can easily rush it or you can definitely undershoot it, you know, either one, mainly the latter. But, um, wow, yeah, Emrek's still at the FC, I believe. Yeah, this is a really solid play from Emrek, actually. I, I think, you know, it's easy to forget exactly how good Emrek's aim is when you're looking at a player who, you know, has been doing really well on the flow aim picks, has had a couple really close calls on stuff like double time one, right, with Monster, where Vaxay just full combos, and what else do you do if you are Emrek besides lose that pick? Uh, because Vaxay is Vaxay on that map, right? But this guy is, I think, pretty well regarded as the single best aim player in the game right now. There is a reason that he is here, and it is because his aim is the absolute best in the game. Does actually oh, find an overaim there. Section. Finds an overaim on the one thirds, but look at the score lead. He's already 236,000 score up over Vaxay, even with the combo lead that Vaxay has right now. Unless there's some collapse here at the end of the map from Emrek, I don't think there's going to be enough time for a comeback. No, I think this is one of these maps, thankfully for Emrek, where a catastrophic. Um you know, sequence of drops will not probably happen, you know, unless his computer shuts off or, you know, lag switch, <laughs> you know, bad host connection. <laughs> this is like an FPS. This is an FPS tournament. Alignment of the stars, mom drops into the room, uh, keyboard Rogue, out of alignment, Rogue, gaming Rogue chair burst. in the wrong spot. Otherwise, I would have won. Yeah, rogue gamma ray burst. It flipped a bite in Osu's game code. You know, anything can happen. Uh, yeah, uh, with those breaks from Vaxay, by the way, obviously, this is going over to Emrek. Really solid first half for Emrek. Full combo is basically the first two thirds of the pick. I mean, how do you how do you how do you do any better than that on a map like this? This is well over eight stars, by the way, after Hard Rock. I believe it's like 8.05 stars or so. 8.03 stars with Hard Rock and Double almost three CS7. Runs. So, uh, yeah, it's a little bit difficult. It's a little bit difficult to play that map really well. Both of them doing a fantastic job there. Like you said, ITN3. Oh, and this I is for that was a them. break point as well. It's, <laughs> it's tough to pick for either of these players at this point. Anything that is decisively in their favor.
at, at first I thought you were asking someone to show the map poll, and I was like, I hope, do we actually have a production team? I was like, <laughs> I was like that's awesome. I guess I, all this time I've been joking about a production team. And I'm like, oh, I guess I, we got one. The, <laughs> the production team is uh, whoever's streaming, in this case me, plus the graphic designer. Welcome. <laughs> Yo, both players are looking smooth on this. What the hell? Yeah, this is uh, this is crazy from both of these players. I think Emrek, after losing Kodama last weekend in pretty almost spectacular fashion, is out for a vengeance on the equivalent DC3 tech pick here in Grand Finals. Because he, oh, he is still holding wait, SS he halfway through the map. Blood. Uh, this is crazy. This is actually crazy. Last oh weekend, God. Kodama in finals went handily in Vaxay's favor. This weekend, not the case at all, regardless of how this map turns out. It is already a statement play from Emrek, still holding the SS two-thirds you know of the way through the though? map. It's all you coming down what, to the end. In these situations, when you are holding a double S, he'd probably rather hold a one by hundred because the nerves just sink in immediately. Your, your CNS just goes buck wild when you're put in these stressful situations. Hopefully that act those couple hundreds actually might be uh, a blessing rather than a, a deterrent because I, that pressure is just so overwhelming. But I think even with the combo, he just needs to hold on for a bit longer because Vaxi could strike at any moment. But I Vaxi's think this is already really missed. too severe at this point. Yeah, it's yeah, really too severe at this moment. All eyes are on Emrek. Will he get the FC? And I think we're actually going to see for once. No commentators curse. I, I'm willing to bet 50 bucks on it this time. And I'm we are going to, to see... I, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. boy. Oh that's, my god, three by hundred. What the? Fuck? I think that's the first DTFC on the map, by the way. Oh, uh, hold on, an, an S from Vaxay? To, what are the, S what rank the? from Vaxay? One slider break on that for Vaxay. That is the first DT full combo on the map. Uh, the next best score on the leaderboard has 454 combo. If these players get one more pick each, and that is it. It determines either a winner or whether we go to the tiebreaker. Vaxe betting it all on Nomad 4 right now for the success to get at least that tiebreaker guaranteed against Emrek for first place. Cool. Both players hitting that first stream there. I know it might not seem like much since it's the first 10 seconds of the song, but trust me, we saw it in the one one of the last tech picks where just that accelerating stream just can throw players off so much. And uh, Vaxi catching a string of hundreds there, but obviously not going to be too crucial. But uh, I don't know, man. Given how close all these matches to be, I feel like every bit counts. And... Oh, Eric's going to hit one of those. Is he going to hit the second one, though? That's that's what matters. He does. Whoa, he hits the second one. He misses oh, the cut stream afterwards. After uh, this is, uh, it's just, uh, uh, these it's, sections, uh, this is what we were talking about, by the way. This is what we were talking about, by the way, where we mentioned comedic levels of difficulty. <laughs> this is the wildest tech pick that you are going to see in any tournament. We do see Vaxe up about a percent in accuracy, and that's honestly where a lot of the score lead is coming from. You saw both of those players missing in basically the same spot, but more frequent misses for Emrek, more frequent accuracy drops for Emrek, and even where Vaxe misses first, Emrek misses shortly afterwards, and that's why this combo lead and this accuracy lead are on Vaxe. Vaxay's side right now. He actually hits all of that build-up section into the second drop now, and I don't think what happens oh, in this well, drop matters if Emrek hits the CTR god though. mode. Emrek looking very good on those super abrasive uh, and just what? blistering fast sliders. And, wait what? a minute. Hold on a minute. It's He hit that? How? Are, how? He hit that? Oh my god. What? Wait. Is he Why actually going to be able to come back in this? He's still holding this the combo at the end of this come. drop. This he is, is just insane from Emrak. What is happening? Who FCs the second half of this map? Actually, illegal activity is happening right in front of you. Someone call the police because Emrek is on a murder spree with this map. Had the mo a higher miscount, but when you were able to pull the type of stuff off in the second half of that map, you just you practically deserve to win at that point. That was some of the best damn tech I I've ever witnessed in my life. I don't know. We'll, I mean, we'll we'll see what happens here, man. This could be intense. Chat, be nice to the lady in the background. Know your manners, by the way. Thought I'd put that out there. But 
Anyways, let's get into this, man. We're gonna see one more map either way, regardless, or we can see uh, 13 more maps. Who knows? This is this is the uh, this is the map to decide almost everything right here. It is you have to be nervous for both of these players, right? Vaxe, uh, you've been undefeated in one v ones for what three or four years now. That kind of reputation hangs in the balance at this point because Emrek is on the cusp of taking this best of 13. And for Emrek, the reverse can also be said, right? You are on the cusp of taking a best of 13 against the GOAT right now in Vaxe. It all hangs on whether you convert on this last pick. And the only maps left up are aim consistency, notoriously RNG, notoriously difficult with nerves. But both of them hitting the beginning of this first key eye time. This is, like you said, Etienne, about the simplest map in the pool. It's really just all super comfortable jumps and a few bursts here and there. Nothing really reading intensive, nothing out of the ordinary in this map from what we would usually expect in Hard Rock 1. It's slightly high BPM, but that's par for the course at this sort of star rating. And neither of these players tripped up by anything. A bit of an accuracy lead for Vaxay right now at 99.4%. And Rick at 97.8, not too far behind. But it really is going to come down to that combo on a map like this where you know, the accuracy is going to be relatively high for both players, and it all comes down to the timing of the misses, how consistent the combo is as we get into this next high-speed jump section. Hey, listen, you can, you can, oh, never mind, I was just about to say, you could tell how nervous Emmerich is given the accuracy, because this is definitely a map he could hold good accuracy on, but I don't know, man. You know, sometimes pressure makes diamonds, but it can also just kind of put you down a bit, and uh, we're kind of seeing the ladder happen, unfortunately, going into the second course, and... I don't know, unless something happens here, a miss from Vaxic would balance out the match a bit, but a second miss from Emrek, I don't know, I think we might be going into tiebreaker just off of that virtue alone, and just Emrek struggling here. Where the pressure doesn't create diamonds, it crushes the coal in its way. And unfortunately for Emrek, that is going to be part of this deciding factor, man. You need to be able to hold on to those nerves. You need to be able to control your aim when you are on a pick like this. And he is just not quite able to do so. Vaxe, however, still on the full combo over halfway through the map and showing no signs of stopping, still on the 99% accuracy as well. And that is that extra experience in tournaments, I think, that comes with having played the game for so long, even despite the nerves, despite oh my being God. down match point, no troubles here in the breakdown section for Vaxe, and that will just about seal it up. Vaxe wants one more shot and does not want to be playing 13 more maps, potentially. He wants to just play two more, one being this, and to cap it all off with the tiebreaker, but I mean, it is going to catch the first miss there, but it's going to, I don't know, I don't even know what to say at this point. I, this, this has been such a crazy match. The only thing I know is that we're just going into the tiebreaker. That's all that's on my mind right now. Chat, y'all better prepare yourselves. This is going to be some crazy stuff. This is going to be, they're going to be schmoovin'. How do you predict a winner on this tiebreaker, by the way? I don't even think you can. The pick in tiebreaker uh, it's it's not an incredibly well-rounded pick, but it's an aim map, 260 BPM or close to it, I believe 258 BPM or 260, and it is just a lot of that real comfortable snap aim that both of these players are super good at, a little bit of that awkward aim as well, but it is... It's going to be interesting to watch. Both of these players have put up some fantastic scores all throughout the match. We've been trading breakpoints all throughout this best of 13 as well. No, we really it's have. been so we really many have. picks that are not decisive at all for either player. And regardless of the outcome of this match, both players really put on a show here. They put on one hell of a performance to get to this point, to get to the tiebreaker against each other. One thing that we can look at in this map, you know, we've had a lot of maps played between these two already. They played in winner's bracket finals. They played in this grand finals as well. 
And one thing to note, a lot of those high-paced maps, 260 BPM, were very close between both of them. We saw Vaxay's performance on Monster, we saw Emrek's performance on Recollection End Roll on the alt pick in Nomad that has a lot of that snap aim element in it. We've seen what Emrek and Vaxay can do on that precision pick with all of that snap aim in the Ki times. We've seen what Emrek can do on Jingo Jungle when you get those types of really tricky flow aim patterns and both of them on some really ridiculous act right now as well. It's not going to be a challenge at all. AR-10, OD-10 may as well be comfort for these two. They play it all day, every day. And it is... Uh, oh my god. Is there a more gorgeous start to this? Can we just look at these two stores right now? <laughs> I mean, what, this is quintessential tiebreaker scenario. This is as tiebreaker as it can get. And uh, even if it's just the very start of the match, you just love to see how in sync these two players are and how well they know each other, how diverse their skill set is, and how similar they can be. And just seeing these two, I mean, this is the first tournament we've ever seen them. You know, they've met for the first time, you know, a few weeks ago, and now they're meeting up for a second hurrah to just put on a show, and my god, have they done that. But the only show they're going to be putting on is something that, I mean, you're going to be flicking through the channels, and there's only one that's going to be on every single channel. It's going to be this one. This is... They met one week ago for the first time in Winner's Bracket Finals. There's a little bit of, I think, nerve shake coming out of MREC right now. This is before we get into the hard section of the map. This is before that first key eye time. There is where the spacing actually increases, where it really picks up in difficulty. Vaxay still holding that FC from the start of the map. The early miss from MREC is going to drop the score down in comparison over time. That score lead is going to grow, but there's the miss Whoa, from Vaxay as well. Misses on the high-spacing jumps, and that now really gives an inroad for Emrek. Maybe that early miss, a little bit strategic, sometimes he it helps to take the nerves off. He needs to go into the second verse with a good combo. Oh, but that miss is going to be massive. That was such a fantastic opportunity. I mean, not down a lot, though. Was able to, you know, remedy it to some degree. You know, 20k, 23k-ish uh, deficit. Nothing to scoff at, especially, you know, staying on pace with the act as well. I mean, it's still pretty even, all things considered. It really is. I mean, this is still super close going into the ending section of the map. It's about 30k in the favor of Vaxay at the moment. It's going to climb little by little. He has about 100 combo lead right now. But all that can change at the drop of a hat, really. Any combo drop can change the situation. And there's actually a miss that comes out from Emrek. Drops the accuracy, drops the combo. There goes Vaxay in return. We're in one of those other high spacing sections in between Ki times right now. It's an ever so slight combo lead for Emrek. If he holds it for an extended period of time, it's going to help him claw back that score lead that was lost in the first half of the map. We do see both players hitting the rest of this for now, but there's just so many of oh these high spacing jumps that can change at any moment. Now he's picking up the pace. This is what we love to see. And these scores are going to become incredibly balanced. You're, you see that red bar right below Vaxi's name? Keep an eye on it because there is going to be some shifting shenanigans going on in a bit if all goes well for Emrek. But if Vaxi can just hold on and stay disciplined, I mean, this is, I mean, actually, though, this is a great opportunity for Emrek to build up some combo here. Yeah, it's a 200 combo lead for Emrek. That score lead, like you said, it's going to shift over as long as Emrek is able to hold. This section is not as difficult in comparison to those super high spacing sections that we had before. We're going into that the last quarter of this depleting. match, Etienne, by the way. Combo lead for Emrek. It's less than 15,000 score in Vaxay's favor. This is as close as it gets here in the grand finals. And both of these players still going to hold on to the combo through the beginning of this oh PI time. God, it's hitting all just going to jump. It all I'm comes down to this. What the word was. I just, I'm so speechless. I said, I'm just so frozen up. I don't even know what to do here. And keep, look at that red bar. It is disappearing. It's going to turn blue soon, Dio. It's going to turn blue. It's going to turn blue in just about a second here if everything holds true. But here we go into the real hard section of the map. This last six or so of the song is the single hardest section in the map. Both of these players need to hold as long as possible. There goes Emrek to combo. He finds a job on the first set of full screen jumps. Vaxay now holding on to the combo where Emrek couldn't. And Emrek unable to get the combo back together as well. And it's looking like Vaxay. We talked about that tournament consistency. We talked about the history this player has. Wait a minute. There's another miss that can bounce things out. And 
I don't know, the combos are so even now, and I, there just isn't a ton left. I mean, there's definitely a sizable amount, but... I mean, Emmerich can only have so much time. You know, time is just a... It's, it's such a... I almost said finite. I, that's not... Tr I failed... <laughs> I There's only so much map. time left in the map. I get where yeah. you're coming from. <laughs> There's not a lot of combo lead for Emrek either right now. The accuracy is slightly in Vaxay's favor. And Etienne, I think the timing of that miss was just a little bit too soon for Emrek. If he had held on ever so slightly longer, one more pattern worth of jumps, 10 more seconds, 5 more seconds oh. might have been enough. But time ran out. And that is Vaxay taking gold at the end of grand finals we talked about the player's history we talked about the nerves that affect both of these players the reputation on the line for both of these players either the the giant to be slayed or the <laughs> giant slayer but it is going to be the giant coming out on top vaxe once again finding the win at the end of a 1v1 tournament but by god did he have to work for it this time around Oh yeah, he was like he was like a uh, uh, like a double shift Walmart super center worker. Like he was working his bones off to keep that lead, and uh, Emrek almost had it. He really, I mean, he, God, these scores were so nutty. But Vaxi just defending his status as just the goat. I mean, I I know it's a cliche term to use, but there's only if you win as if you have the tournament resume, Vaxi does just. That's just how the cookie crumbles, homie. But um, Emrek played out of his mind. Just almost took two straight international tournaments in a row. But with Vaxi coming back for a vengeance, you know, just couldn't let him have it. And I don't, I don't even know what else to say, man. I'm like, <laughs> we say congratulations. We, we say con congratulations yes, we also to Vaxi. Say he is the champion of the Yuki Aim One v One now. Congratulations to him. He worked hard for this championship. I think probably harder than he's had to work in the last few years for any tournament championship. Emrek making it 20k apart on the tiebreaker. So close. Vaxe has been really challenged in this tournament. And I think that bodes very well for the other players in community tournaments right now. That you know, a lot of players, more multiple players, are very close to achieving that type of ideal but we are going to say congratulations to Vaxay. he is the recipient of 1250 us dollars a profile Woo! badge the hyperx quadcast s mic cloud 2 wireless headset alloy origin 60 keyboard pulse fire haste mouse and fury s mouse pad Man, you tr you could not have asked for a more theatrical match you really could not have but um in a second we are going to get word from I'm not going to say production again. We're going to get word from the from the biggest homie of all. You know, they've worked their ass off, quite frankly, to uh, make this tournament happen and did all the or did a lot of the organizational shenanigans, put up with a bunch of BS, and, um, and it's it's you know it's my great pleasure to you know say was good, K. How you doing? Hi, Etienne. Oh my God, what a match. First of all, I'd like to thank you two so much for casting this. I hope you had a great time. I know I had a great time listening to you guys, and thank you so much to Dio for streaming this. Thank you to each and every one of you viewers. There are, we capped at, I think, I believe it was 6,000 viewers. So thank you so much to every single one of you that came out to watch this match. There was no shortage of support for either player. And oh my gosh, you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much for coming out. And congratulations to Vaxay on that first place. Um, Emrek still kept him on his toes, did so much work. You know, still an amazing second place to him. I just want to say, man, it's so hard to believe that this is over given how, uh, how busy it was at the beginning. Um, man, I had... A I had quite a trip hosting this and organizing this. I want to thank uh, AimLab and HyperX sponsors for doing this. I want to thank all the staff, all the referees, all everybody who could make this possible, especially um, Acolix, the GFX artist. So all of the stuff you see on stream couldn't have been done without them. You guys are great. I I appreciate every single one of you, especially Dio and Etienne. Dio, 
did so much to make sure that the map pools were awesome, did so much of the casting and so much of the streaming, making sure that all of these matches were entertaining for each and every one of you viewers. Thank you so much to Etienne for joining him. It, it's been it's been such a journey, everybody. I hope you have a great time. I hope you've had a great time watching this. I know I did. Yeah, and if you didn't, I I it's, that is not a, this is a th I will bully you. But. <laughs> that, that is going to do it for us for now, though. And that is going to do it for the UKM tournament. Oh, Congratulations again to Vaxay for winning the tournament. Congratulations as well to Emrek. Uh, he wins $750, a HyperX solo cast mic, Cloud Two Wireless headset, Pulse Fire Ace Mouse, and Fury S Mouse Pad. And Badu as well in the top three gets $400, his own headset, mouse, and mouse pad. And then fourth through sixth place, so Flying Tuna, Bubble Man, and intercambing all winning $200 as well. So congratulations to our top six. And that is going to do it for us for the Yuki Aim tournament. Thank you yeah. all once again for watching. It has been our pleasure to bring this tournament to you. And we will see you all next time. Yes, sir. See you around.